Hi again and welcome to video number two of our series. Um, in this video I'm going to uh, show you a little bit more about um, Gorilla Player and also how you will interact uh, with the Grial starter that you downloaded and Grial full sample um, and how you can uh, uh, incorporate all your screens to your uh, app okay so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open Gorilla Player uh, app I have already downloaded and installed in my computer okay you will see uh, it is ready here on the Mac and this is the server okay so the server uh, will be uh, listening to your changes and it will communicate uh, uh, through Visual Studio and uh, it will uh, show all your changes in your devices okay I have already uh, downloaded and, and uh, deployed the sample here that you saw in video one and it is running here on uh, this device and I have uh, deployed here the, the Gorilla Player there okay uh, um, I'm going to open now um, the Grial Starter okay this is the solution that we downloaded on the previous uh, video okay so this is the starter okay I'm going to close here perfect okay now uh, this is will be our uh, target uh, project so the idea here is that you are building your uh, new app okay and since this project is based on Grial starter starter uh, it will contain only the bare minimum stuff you need uh, to run Grial so if you check here you would see that you only have the common views provided uh, by Grial and just the welcome starter page here so um, the idea is that I'm going to open also uh, the full to starter demo app uh, but the full sample and then I'm going to copy from the full uh, sample to this, this uh, starter okay so I'm going to open let's uh, see this is the starter let's open the full All right. okay so now I have the starter here and now I have the uh, full uh, project here and I will be copying from here to here okay so if I open here uh, you will see all the different uh, pages and templates that we provide okay um, another thing uh, which is important to keep in mind is that uh, when you download the, the these projects uh, you will get the Gorilla uh, um, configuration here which will around, uh, allow you to run the Gorilla SDK embedded in your application which is the case here you see uh, the Gorilla SDK here running okay so if I uh, connect to the server you need to uh, keep in mind that you should have the Gorilla Player uh, extension running okay so it will be listening to your uh, interaction with Visual Studio um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this one okay this is on the starter okay and as you can see you have instant preview of the template okay um, 
remember I have uh, already deployed on the iPhone um, the Gorilla uh, with uh, the Gorilla configuration here so it was like this um, the Gorilla here okay and I am on testing on an iPhone X but you can change uh, and you could you could also deploy to Android and to as many devices as you want and you will preview uh, on all of your devices at the same time which is by the way a really cool uh, feature alright so <clears throat> now that I have uh, all this uh, stuff here I'm going to start copying my uh, pages okay so let's see let's say I want uh, to copy stuff from the dashboard uh, category here then I will need to locate the file I want okay and you can also preview because uh, I have deployed the the full um, the full sample to the device with Gorilla SDK so and that allows me to preview almost everything and you see here the custom renderers are being rendered um, okay so uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how you uh, copy and paste uh, all of the different um, pages and templates and how you incorporate those to your project